of Christ all over the country and perhaps also out of the country in uh, neighboring countries. Uh, I'm so very happy to greet you on Family Day, the 13th of December. Uh, a wonderful apostolate. Uh, we know that we call, the church calls the family the domestic church. And it really is the domestic church. Especially now, in the time of the pandemic, uh, many have told me that we really felt we are a domestic church because uh, the masses are live streamed into our homes. And we sit around the television or the iPad and, and we the family prays together, here's mass. And we really feel that Christ has come into our homes. When there is the Eucharist, where there's the benediction, we pray. And uh, this is almost like the early times when little families would meet together uh, and became Christ-centered. Congratulations, really, on all that you're doing. Our families, uh, the pandemic will be over, hopefully soon. And, and then really life will come back to normal. But you should not, this little plus point you've got, uh, the advantage you've got of really experiencing Christ in your homes, of uh, His presence in your homes, don't lose that. You've prayed together because practically you were forced to pray together. Uh, I would encourage you to continue to pray together. I, I want to thank you for all that you're doing. Read the Bible. The Word of God is what nourishes us. Read the Bible, pray together, Devotion to Our Lady, the Rosary. Devotion to the Sacred Heart. Uh, uh, devotion to the Saint, any particular Saint you may have. Devotion to Saint Anne, carry off. That, and when you do that as a family, it really uh, strengthens your bonds with each other, strengthens your affection for each other, and bring God's abundant blessings to you. I want to thank you for what you're doing. I want to encourage you. Keep well, keep united, and let us pray for each other. Pray for the church, pray for the Pope, and pray for me. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>